recently I, um, I've been, well, not recently, I'm continually getting a new pottery, but I had ordered some pieces of a relatively new shape, which I think is, uh, when I first saw it, I laughed and it's hilarious. And so this is what this piece is. And I just call them big mouth fishes. Um, and I'm sure that you've seen them. I've been posting about them. Most of them are sold. I have a few left in this pattern and I do have more coming in. And by the way, if you want one of these, we can always order you in any pattern that's currently in production. So um, sometimes that's the best way to get what you want. You have to wait a bit, but chances are you're going to wait that time anyway, looking for one. So these big mouth fishes, um, I've seen people get creative with what their uses are. Um, I see people commonly calling them salt cellars, which is not necessarily what they were intended for. But, uh, you know, when it comes to Polish pottery, it actually doesn't matter what the piece was intended for. So if it works for you, it works for you. But I thought I would show you, show you what it was used for, show you the older version of it and show you it was salt too. So let's look at, let's start with that. Um, okay, so what should I show you first? Let me show you the two uses that people do. So this, I got another one. I am a big fan of Maldon salt. It's my favorite salt and I use it next to my stove and I, I like to pinch. I don't have a shaker. I don't have thin table salt. Um, this is a thick flaky salt and I'm constantly pinching. I never measure salt. Um, so I filled my little guy, or this little guy, with Maldon salt. Um, it's a very thick salt. Now, I put this by my stove and sort of enacted what it would be like when I'm standing there cooking and I reach to pinch the salt. Um, if it's full, if it's full, let's say, like I actually took some of the salt out. If you have it full and it's this way, I suppose it's easy to pinch the salt out of there. Okay, because it's right there. It's easy to put your hands in. Um, but once you use up a little bit, it becomes more difficult to get into there and reaching into here. This isn't really that big of an opening when you're talking about sticking your hand in there. Now, I see people who have spoons with it, okay? So I use a micro spoon because this is the one I typically see people put with this. This would never work for me. This would never work for me because it's too small. If I go to grab a teaspoon of salt and I go to the stove, chances are I'm going to spill a portion of it. Um, and so... And these little, these little guys, I know some people love their spoons, but I break them. I break them. So I probably would not put a spoon in here. And you could put a bigger one, but again, bigger pieces, you're asking for trouble. So I'm not sure that for me, salt is the best way to go. I think it looks real cute with a mouthful of salt. You know, you got a fish and the ocean is salty and there's a sort of, you know, interesting little connection there. So I, I think it looks neat and I think the thought of it is um, intriguing. If it works for you, that's great. It works for you. So these could be a salt cellar if you wanted to. I just think unless it's overly full, you're going to have a difficult time accessing the salt. But super cute, right? Now the actual use for this or the one that I when I started, there was another piece before this, and I'll show you what the, the, the earlier piece was. It was meant to go next to your sink, and it was meant to hold things like sponges or your rag by the sink. So essentially, you take your kitchen sponges, and they go in there, and it sits next to your sink. Now, again, I, I don't know that this is even the best use for this because there are no holes for draining, which... I would have liked to have seen, even in the earlier piece, they had, didn't have holes for draining, but it's cute, it's cute. Um, but I don't, I, don't use, I don't use this piece for either of these purposes. In fact, I don't have this piece. I want one, but I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. Um, so you put your sponges by it and it would sit by your sink and it, and it looks super adorable, of course. Um, but that's what they were for. Now, like I said, this is a relatively new shape, right? There was a piece in the catalog, and I looked at my old catalogs, couldn't even find it, but I know this was in production 15 to 17 years ago, um, and it's this shape. This is the shape that came before the big mouth whale. Now, they stopped making this one at some point in the last 10 years, and I don't know exactly when it is. Looks like it was shape number 724, um, but again, this was to go next to the sink, And that's what it was for. Now, again, I never got this piece because I always thought that was silly and I always, I'm a clumsy person, so it's not something that I, I wanted to chance breaking. And again, it didn't have draining holes in the bottom, which I felt that maybe would have been a better use of it if you've got a sponge in there that's 
moist or whatever. Um, so I have this piece because this is one of the patterns that I originally started collecting, but I'm thinking I'm going to put flowers in it or some sort of decoration. I, so I have it to have it, but I don't use it. <laughs> I think that, so they discontinued, like I said, that's discontinued anyway. And I think that this is a much cuter version. I just, I just, for me, it's not a shape that I, I'm going to probably be using in my kitchen, but I think it's absolutely adorable. And whether you want it for salt or to hold sponges or maybe find another creative use, if you have another creative use for it, let me know. I'll definitely post it on my page. Um, you know, either way, I, I, I could see lots of different uses for it. I mean, I could see if you're going to put salt in there, I suppose you could stick it on your desk and fill it with paper clips. Um, I mean, so anyway, super cute. I think this is one of those ideas where they're really getting creative and um, hopefully enough people order it that it's not one that comes and goes quickly. Um, anyway, big mouth fish. <laughs>